We have another long distance traveler, our next speaker. Toru Mitsuboshi is from Nisui in Tokyo. Toru san is a senior researcher at the Central Research Lab of Nisui. Toru san works developing technology to produce various marine species from nursery stage to harvest size in both land based closed systems and offshore large scale submers submersible cages. Toru has worked on salmon, halibut, grouper, puffer fish, amberjack, and my favorite, shrimp. Toru Mitsuboshi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jim, for your introduction. And uh, now I would like to show you a few examples of agricultural products which have been developed for uh, taste and quality in Japan. And then about our company with some stories of technologies supporting our aquaculture business. Um, many variety of agricultural products are developed through Japan for taste and quality. Rice. Rice is very important staple food, uh, crop in Japan, and there are many varieties developed uh, all around Japan for uh, uh, taste. And uh, this is, uh, uh, what do you say, texture? although uh, from many prefectures. And uh, additionally, there are about 900 varieties of rice registered in Japan. Uh, about 300 are grown for staple food, and about 70 for rice cakes, uh, do you know mochi? And 120 for sake, liquor. Next, please. And another one is uh, strawberry. Uh, there are about 300 varieties of strawberries in Japan. This is about the half of the number of varieties grown in the world. Some of the unique or popular ones are, uh, what's the name? Natsumizuki, uh, developed in Hokkaido Prefecture, and Tochi Otome, uh, this is from uh, uh, Tochigi Prefecture. Akihime is a Shizuoka uh, strawberry. Uh, this is uh, very popular. And the shape is a uh, uh, long cone shape. And it's very soft. And another one is a white one. Uh, the name is Pearl White. This is from Nara Prefecture. And the last one I show you is the uh, Amao from Fukuoka Prefecture. This is one of the most popular strawberry and round and large shape, uh, well balanced with sweetness and sourness. So maybe you remember the opening of the ceremony of the Beijing Winter uh, Olympic Games. The 24 solar, uh, uh, solar terms in the Chinese lunar calendar was developed in around 400, 200 BC to guide the people, uh, agricultural production and seasonal changes in the nature. And this was introduced to Japan in sixth century and the Japanese developed shun to know the best season for enjoying uh, taste and quality of the food. The taste of shun. Many Japanese enjoy the seasonal changes of the nature, especially foods such as wild plants, agricultural fruits and vegetables, and wild and farmed fish. Japanese culture for shun may be one of the reasons for breeding for not just the productivity, but the taste and quality. So uh, now let me introduce briefly about our company. Nisui was established in 1911 by the founder Ichiro Tamura. 
Together with Kosuke Kunishi, they contributed to industrialization of the Japanese fishery. Our founding philosophy is to produce and distribute uh, marine food products just as the water supply system. And for aquaculture, uh, which I am responsible for, is to farm them at the best environment and distribute good and stable food where they are best needed. So we have uh, five business fields. The first one is marine product uh, uh, business, and uh, aquaculture is there. And find, um, excuse me, food product business. Uh, we make uh, lots of kinds of foods, including uh, frozen foods. Fine chemical business, uh, the core business is the EPA. And general distribution business, uh, well, this is the lo logistics. And the marine related and engineering business. So today I'm talking about uh, aquaculture, which belongs to the marine product business. And uh, the ratio of aquaculture business sales in total marine product business is about 15 to 20%. So uh, there is uh, two R&D organizations which supports Nisui's aquaculture business. One in Tokyo, Aquaculture Fundamental Group, uh, Research Group, which is responsible for feed development and meat quality and data science. And another one in Oita Prefecture in Kyushu Island, Oita Marine Biological Technology Center, which is responsible for nursery breeding, nutritional physiology, and fish health management. So, uh, the about Nisui's business, aquaculture business, please. In Japan, the total volume of farmed fish, uh, farm fin fish in 2021 was approximately 254.5 thousand tons. About the half is the Seriora species, of which about the 80% are Japanese amberjack. And next comes the red sea bream. And these two, oops, these two uh, accounts for almost 80% of the total finfish aquaculture product. Next are the bluefin tuna and coho salmon and others. Other notable farmed seafoods would be uh, shellfish, mackerel algae, and small amount of kruma prawns. This shows the ratio of imported seafoods in Japan. Around 1,258,000 tons were imported last year. And the four main categories were uh, skipjacks and tunas, salmons, cods, and prawns. For salmon and prawns, respectively, about 10 and 100 times of the domestic farm volumes are actually imported into Japan, so there are still considerable space uh, for domestic fresh products for these species. Uh, Nisui's aquaculture companies. The first company was the salmon company in Chile, Salmones Antarctica. The next was Kurose Suisan, farming Japanese amberjack, followed by uh, Seinan Suisan, farming bluefin tuna, and two companies in Australia, Sea Lord King Reef, farming barramundi, and Petuna, farming salmons, um, Atlantic salmon and trout. Then Kaneko Sangyo, farming bluefin tuna, Yumigama Suisan farming several species of salmon, 
and two more cereola farming companies in recent five years. Today, I would like to introduce some of our technologies supporting Kurose Suisan and uh, Yumigahama Suisan. Uh, this is about Kurose Suisan. This company is a Japanese amberjack com uh, farming company. They farm about eight to 10,000 tons per year. Most of the uh, most of other farms are located inside the sheltered bay where the, where the waves are usually calm, but Kurose farming sites are more exposed to the ocean where the waves are more tough. One of the features is the submersible sea cages. The cages are usually under the water, about seven to eight meters below the surface, in order to avoid damage from big uh, swell, especially in the typhoon season. <clears throat> uh, the cage floats up to the surface by pumping air into the floats. Uh, before feeding and take the air out to put them back under the water after being fed. The feeding behavior of amber, uh, Japanese amberjacks are quite aggressive. Does it move? Oh, yes. Uh, and the feeding to saturation will not take time. They have their own processing plant as well. Also, they have their own broodstock to produce nursery-raised juveniles. Generally, in Japan, most of the juveniles used for farming Japanese amberjack are caught from the wild in early spring to early summer. But we intended to control maturation and produce our own juveniles earlier. Uh, so, basic research to learn the role of each seasonal environmental factor for inducing sexual maturation was conducted. And we developed reproducible maturation controlling technology and transferred to Crosse Suisan. Now, so that we can obtain juveniles from individuals we want, uh, that we want, we are able to conduct, conduct selective breeding. Also, with the juveniles from early maturation, we have larger fish than those derived from the wild ones. This greatly contributed to solve the seasonal quality problem in the Japanese amberjack farming in Japan. Here, uh, during late spring to summer, two-year-old market-sized fish, about four to five kilograms, had problems with their quality and cost during to maturation and spawning happening prior to their harvest. The fish lose weight, meat quality, and fat during uh, and after spawning. Now, Using their farmed raised juveniles from early spawners, the one year younger fish, just under the size of maturation, will not be affected by spawning and gets ready for the harvest during the problematic season, which had better taste, appearance, and preference. Now, Kurose Suisan is able to pro, uh, provide high quality and tasty fish all year round. Additionally, as a result for breeding fast growth and improvement of nursery technology, almost all juveniles have recently changed to artificial juveniles, which are produced several times a year. Uh, here is another example of R&D with Crossy Suisan in collaboration with NEC. Development of size estimation system using AI. There are several tools for estimating the size of the fish in the sea cage. One of the major devices is the sterile camera. 
For instance, this one, AM100, provided by the AQ1 Systems, this is an Australian company, is used in many farms in Japan. However, the user is required to choose each fish to measure and point out the line for length and height measurement, which was time consuming and somewhat stressful because you need many, many fish to uh, measure. With the NEC system, the movies taken by the camera are uploaded to the uh, analyzing system on the website and AI would recognize each fish and where to measure. And automatically accumulate sufficient data for the analysis. All the data will be uh, with the population statistics, statistics are fed back to the user within a short period. This service is now being expanded to tuna and salmon too. Next is Yumigahama Suisan, a salmon farming company. They produce about 2,000 tons of salmon, mainly coho salmon, per year. Uh, in Japan, the season for farming salmon is limited to five to eight months from late autumn to early summer, when the water temperature is below 18 degrees centigrade, as Salmons are cold water species. Most salmon farms are located at the northern Pacific coast to avoid northwest monsoon during winter, but this farm is located on the opposite side, the Sea of Japan side, but sheltered by Shimane Peninsula. However, there are still many rough days compared to the Pacific coast in the winter time. So feeding is operated by automatic feeder equipped with a special controller. These feeders are very useful as it takes considerable time to feed salmon to saturation and we operate more than 25 cages at this site. Each cage is about 25 meters diameter, circle cage, holding 40 to 50,000 fish. As the site sometimes experiences big waves due to seasonal strong wind, we use a feeding system, Aqualingual, equipped with an appetite sensor. The fish appetite is monitored and the feeding is controlled by the accumulated appetite data. I will, uh, it will use electricity from the battery charged by the solar panel and send the data to the office on the land. So we are able to check and control the feeding from the office. Therefore, the fish can be fed even in rough weather, which is very important in Japan with the limited period for farming, and more importantly, in a safe way. Also, underwater cameras are connected to check the eating of the fish and the system. Next is the collaboration with the Nippon Steel Engineering. The feeding platform trial was conducted using Koho Salmon Farm site. There are two small 15-ton and 30-ton feed uh, silos on the platform. Feeds are supplied to each feeders on each cage. Pipes are connected to the feeders and are now installed on the seabed, connected to an underwater branching apparatus. A generator is on the platform and the system is monitored and controlled by wireless communication. This is a picture of controlling system on the office, uh, at the office. Feeding can also be adjusted according to the visual information monitored at the office. 
Environment figures are also monitored and recorded by the system. And feed are supplied by the command from the office to the platform. Data, data from the NEC size analyzing system is also monitored, and the workers can share the uploaded information shown on the large screen in the office to discuss such as next plan for adjusting feeding regime or to determine the order for the harvest according to the size population, uh, the population structure. Now, Nisu is looking for next pieces like the domestic farming of white-legged shrimp using bioflock, which we actually import the SPF uh, broodstock from Hawaii, Kona Bay. And we are looking for, uh, with, uh, we are working with octopus too. We have just released the new branding story on our website. Our new brand will be unified to this English brand committed to create new value and well-being through good foods. I personally hope, no matter how little, lives filled with joy and happiness will prevail on everyone on earth through the well-being of foods. Thank you.